Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we are going to write a Python Boto3 script for our AWS environment where we are going to change the retention policy for all the log groups which are present into our current account. So this script is going to modify the log groups whichever exist the retention policy for the same. So now first let's understand what is CloudWatch log groups and what we what is retention policy that I am talking about. So let's uh, jump to the AWS console. In AWS console, I will go in CloudWatch. In CloudWatch, under CloudWatch, there would be log groups. So if I click on log groups, so guys, as you can see, these are the list of log groups which are there, which exist in my account. So now what we are going to do, we are going to write a script which is going to change the retention days of this log group. What do you mean by retention day? Retention day means whatever log streams are getting created into this specific log groups, what would be the retention policy for that? Okay. So now uh, let's go ahead and jump to our editor. Over here, I will just create a new Python file. Log group retention all okay so uh, over here what we are going to do we are going to use a uh, boto3 uh, client so i will just search for boto3 logs so i will just open this documentation official documentation so uh, we have this official documentation for boto3 logs so let's go ahead and copy this i will just paste that in my code so as you can see, we have just copied the client. So now to invoke, uh, now we will invoke the method within this client. So first, uh, what we are going to do in our code is first we are going to get the list of the log group names. So these are the log group names. So how to fetch the list of the log group names? So I will for fetching the list of the log group name, we will have to use describe log groups. So it lists the specified log groups. You can still list all log groups or filter by prefix. So if when we are going to use this specific method, it is going to return us this, the log group list and next token. So we are interested in log groups. So let's go ahead and use this. Okay. So over here, I will just copy this. Okay, paste. So now this specific method is going to return the dictionary uh, into this response uh, that will hold the ret uh, response syntax that's mentioned over here. Okay, so now what I will do. So from this response syntax, I'm only interested in log groups. So let me go ahead and print the log groups for you. Print response. And from that response, I want to print the list that is the log groups list. I will just mention over here. That's it. Let me go ahead and print. So guys, as you can see, it is giving the entire list. Okay. So I will just show you. So see, so this specific list is having all the parameters which are mentioned over here. log group name, create time, retention in days, see. So, as I said, this is the log group name, create time, retention in days is 14, metric count, all the data which has been mentioned over here as a response syntax. Okay, now let's do one thing. So, uh, from this, what I want to do is, I want to just fetch the log group names. I don't want the entire uh, list. So, for that, what I will do? I will write a for loop before that I will just remove this print. <clears throat> so let's like a, write a for loop. So for logs in response. So let's traverse this dictionary for logs in response. So from this response, we are only interested in log groups list. Okay. So over here, I am going to fetch the log group names. So if I so uh, before saving it uh, to a specific list, let me 
print it and show you what exactly we are trying to fetch from this specific dictionary. So print logs. So over here, I will mention, I just want the log group name from this specific list, log group name. Okay. So let me go ahead and run this for you now. So guys, as you can see, I was able to fetch the list of log groups, log group names. Okay. So this is what I'm going to use. So now, as you can see, this, this is only going, uh, this is only going to contain the log group names. So what we will do, uh, we will use, we will create a list. Okay. So I will just create a list log underscore group name is equal to so guys this will be a empty list empty list okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to append all these log group names into this empty list so log underscore group name and dot append and over here i will use logs and this so my all log group name would be appended within this list. So let me print this list log underscore group name. So guys, as you can see now, see now this list is containing the name. So now we are going to set the retention policy for all the logs which are present into our account. So for that, what we are going to do is I am going to traverse this uh, list and while traversing this list, uh, while it is picking uh, elements of this list one by one, I will fetch one element and I will run put retention policy, which is going to set the retention policy for that specific element or the log group name. So let me go back to the documentation. If I go over here, so there is put retention policy. If I click on this, see, sets the retention of a specified log group. The retention policy allows you to configure the number of days for which to retain log events in a specified log groups. Log event means you can also refer to as log streams. And kindly note the retention days you have to, uh, it is an odd number. You cannot mention anything apart from that. So for example, now, as you can see, it is one, three, five. So you have to, uh, use the same numeric values which has been mentioned over here and kindly note it is not going to return anything so don't try to uh, save it into a variable and try to print it okay so i am just going to use it so i will just use before that let's go ahead and write another for loop for name in log underscore group name colon for loop started so once in for loop or uh, once we are in for loop log is equal to now i will use this entire method over here so in this method what i am going to do is log group name so in log group name i am going to use this name where we are traversing the directory uh, where we are traversing the list and by traversing the list we are fetching the log group name one by one so right now if i go to my account so the retention policy is two weeks. Let's go ahead and make it as 30 days. Let's see what it, what it shows. So I will just go ahead and make it 30. Once again, let's check if it is allowed. Yeah, 30 is allowed. So I have made it as 30 days. That's it. Just space over here. So I will just go ahead and run it. So guys, as you can see, the code is successfully executed. I will just go back to my AWS console. As you can see, the retention is showing two weeks. Let me refresh it. Okay. So as you can see, the retention for each and every log groups has been updated. So now you might be wondering where we might be using this specific script. So uh, in real time scenario, there are uh, many blockers where we have seen while a company is uh, building its infrastructure by using cloud formation so by any chance if you missed to create the log group uh, by using the cloud formation okay 
So in that cloud formation, if you don't mention the retention policy, by default, the retention policy will go to never expire. And when you are creating the log group based on the CloudWatch agent, again, it is going to create a log group, which would be with the retention policy never expire. So in this kind of scenario where you want to set the retention policy of all the log groups, which are already there, which are in never expire state or which are in some state that you want to change. So for example, right now the retention policy is 30, but your company's new policy says that it should be 60 days. So you can make it as 60. So for example, now I have uh, uh, used over year 30. So I will just make it as 14 again in front of you. and refresh it. So guys, you can see, so it is very quick. Okay. So the code is completed. So that's it for this uh, YouTube tutorial guys. Thank you for joining the session and have a great day. Goodbye.